And it's with at the end of this episode, we finally get to witness Goku's transformation into Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Say that name five times fast. How is it going, guys? Hope you guys are having a great day, night, wherever you guys are. But I'm here to bring you my review on Dragon Ball Super's English dub. We are on episode 24. And honestly, this episode was very very simple. Usually when I watch Dragon Ball Super, I like to take notes just to see what happened within every episode. That way I know what to talk about with you guys. But honestly, I didn't take that many notes when watching this episode. At most, I took six notes. That is it. Not really much happened in this episode. It was either Goku and Frieza fighting each other. It was either Vegeta butting in and fighting with Goku. And then at the very end of the episode, you know, Vegeta finally falling back and allowing Goku to transform into Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, or as it is known in its simpler name, Super Saiyan Blue. So overall, very simple episode. Animation wonky at times throughout this entire episode, like Goku's face looked like it didn't actually look like it was on his body. It didn't look like his face in some panels, but the strength of this episode has to go to the English dub dialogue. I love the dialogue back and forth between Goku and Frieza. The way Frieza speaks in the English dub, and especially having the Dragon Ball Z Kai voice actor for Frieza, it's so poetic and it just sounds so menacing and very like higher class society of his alien race. It just fits so well for his character. And just when he belittles and tries to talk down to Goku, and when Goku is just so childlike while he's fighting with Frieza, the dialogue back and forth is the best. And there was a great moment too, when we had Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza just talking back with one another. That is the strength of this episode that the English dub gives to episode 24, is the dialogue, the banter back and forth, because there's just so much history to back up the dialogue between all these characters. It just makes it that much better. So there are really only three key points that I do want to talk about for this episode, and it will probably make this episode review a lot shorter than my other reviews for Dragon Ball Super. The first thing I want to talk about is how Frieza fights, and it's demonstrated very well throughout this episode, and we know Frieza to be very sneaky and not really very fair when it comes to fighting. Like, the whole time as Frieza is fighting with Goku, he is constantly throwing key blasts at, like, surrounding people like Krillin or maybe Bulma and Jocko, and this just goes to show that Frieza doesn't fight fair. He is the typical villain. He'll do whatever he can to get Goku off guard and try to win no matter what. And that is demonstrated very well in this episode. And I do kind of like the throwback to Frieza, you know, trying to kill Krillin because it makes us Dragon Ball Z fans go back to the time when he did in fact kill Krillin all the way back during the Namek saga. And then that's what caused Goku to transform into the Super Saiyan for the very first time. So I do like that being demonstrated throughout this entire episode. But the next key point that I do want to go over in this episode is why Vegeta ended up attacking Goku and kind of disrupting the fight between Goku and Frieza because Goku is fooling around the entire time he is fighting with Frieza. He's not taking it seriously. It's more like a game to him. And to Vegeta, this pissed him off. And I understand completely because here is the tyrant that destroyed your planet, your entire race, and kept you under his boot the entire time throughout all of Dragon Ball Z. And yet here is your rival basically fighting this tyrant. And yet he's not taking it seriously. He's joking around. He's laughing. And honestly, I totally understand why Vegeta was so pissed, but I don't understand understand why when he went to go fight Goku, Gohan, Krillin, Bulma, they were worried because they're like, wait, what if Vegeta changed sides? It's like, you guys don't understand how much hatred that Vegeta has for Frieza. It's even more hatred than he has for Goku at this current point in time in Dragon Ball Super. So he would never side with Frieza. And I love the moment too, when he claps what looks like goes on forever and then just starts talking back to Frieza. Very good moment. You know, there's just that great dialogue and that history going back and forth between Vegeta and Frieza. And then eventually, you know, uh, Vegeta backs off, allows Goku to finally take it seriously, go full power, and that's when we dive into the mother of all transformations currently within Dragon Ball Super of getting to witness Goku for the very first time going into Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, but as most of us know it as Super Saiyan Blue. And I love the joke of just Frieza looking at that transformation being like, Super Saiyan God, you went Super Saiyan, but you're Super Saiyan God, but not a Super Saiyan God. This name is too confusing. 
confusing. So I do like that joke being jabbed in there, kind of poking fun at how long and how ridiculous the name of Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, and just how redundant it actually is. And that's basically the cliffhanger of this episode. Very simple episode. The only one other thing that I will mention is when Frieza went to go poke Goku's eyes out and Goku goes, really Frieza? You're gonna poke my eyes out? And as soon as that happened, I was like, Goku, come on now. You are the main character and you are the only character I remember in Dragon Ball Z who would constantly poke enemies eyes out. So I thought that was a really funny callback and reminded me of all the times that Goku actually stabbed out enemies eyes and that's the only thing I can think of. So overall episode very simple. I still enjoyed it even though the, the animation was a bit wonky but the dialogue is still the strength of the English dub. It's just so good, so well written and the history backs up a lot of the dialogue between a lot of these characters. So that's my thoughts and that's my review on episode 24 of Dragon Ball Super. I'm really looking forward to seeing this battle will continue with Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, and Frieza, and hopefully we're going to be able to see, you know, that transformation that Frieza is well known for in the resurrection of F-Arc. So please give me your thoughts down below, guys, and how you think the English dub is handling everything so far, and feel free to subscribe if you guys want to talk the English dub of Dragon Ball Super as the episodes come out week to week. So it's the end of my review, guys, until episode 25 next week of Dragon Ball Super. I'll talk with you guys later. All right, guys, see you later.